so uh, the press and the media thing i was trying uh, i was talking about so it uh, i i mean to say the personal stories that are covered by a very decentralized kind of network they are much more than than if we compare it to united states so most of time when the data is collected it's not really collected from the, so the actual sources it is collected through these outlets like news so that creates a certain kind of bias in data so that leads to different kind of perception about different countries so if we analyze real data i mean like the agencies that collect data uh, opposed to personal stories which generally media you generally likes over like uh, real data it skews the perception of nation and that makes uh, that puts certain nations in per, uh, particularly vulnerable spots yeah but the united states has a rich um, media of people who do the fact checking and we have fact checkers we have people who critique the media yeah. Um, I think like the, you, the misinformation in the United States is not because of the lack of available media that give you the correct information. Mm -hmm. It's the people who decide to the, consume the media that is biased or b gives you bad information, right? And but when it comes to the availability of information and the media that is doing its job, uh, we have and not more than enough in the United States. It's, it's the problem is the people by yeah, secular I, I would I would just say also I think one of the issues is the the proliferation of such platforms and sites in which they are not at all regulated in the same way that major news outlets are so like Facebook specifically went through a whole court process to say that it's not a publisher because if it was a publisher then it would have to take down misinformation so the fact that our laws hasn't necessarily caught up with the technology too I think is 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 a big part of it for sure in the in the proliferation of misinformation but i guess i, I guess i'm still not a hundred percent clear on on what you're getting at with with the the disparities in in the media outlets and stuff it almost sounded like you were saying that that because there's more outlets in in the indian system that there's more personal stories and that's better or, or was I was I misinterpreting that? Because again, I I'm still a little confused. No, as no, to kind of what I'm just at. comparing between the two systems. Oh, uh, okay. You're so, just showing the disparities between them. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, and how uh, if we pit one against another, one could lead, uh, one could put into, one could be put into much vulnerable spots. So even if we assume that uh, United States media is better, why is that an assumption? Okay, first of all, I, I just I do believe that both of them have enough for people to be able to choose yeah. to get the correct information, to be honest, right? Like I've seen enough media in India that does an amazing job, okay? And enough media in the United States that does an amazing job, right? So the options are there for people to who want to get the correct information. Um, so uh, the, the media in US, it's generally controlled by like six oligar, 90% of the media is controlled by six oligar. So it just, uh, it changes the way the self censorship works in media outlets. So the information I, is already filtered out. Yeah, it's I do see a bigger filter. Okay, so in India, okay, I do uh, see a right leaning bent in the, towards right. In, in, on the news, right? In the United States, I do see a more diversity of attitudes in the news. Uh, not necessarily. Country. Most of the media that is in India, it's left-leaning, actually. No, uh, you didn't hear. OK, see, you're not listening to what I'm saying. I, I didn't say ma media. I said news media. Yes, media in India is both left and right, especially entertainment media in India is left. The entertainment media in India has actually a left-leaning uh, bent, right? But the news media in India has a right-leaning bent, does it not? No. The most that's media, I, if you if you do the numbers, I, most media would be the left. But most events because of social media. You don't, the, not am I? Am I? Am I? Are you not? You you keep saying most media is. Oh, left. okay. The news media is very left-biased. Most okay. of it. 
That's not what so I So the it just depends how the media is funded. See, like people, most... are from India, people from India are confirming that what I'm saying is right. Like you're saying it's the news is very right. Mm-hmm. Some people are saying like Yatsi, right? And uh, no. N-A-Z-I, right, right. But that's what that's not only what I've I'm not just making this up. Like that's what I'm saying based on reports that I've read. Okay, so maybe so, be, maybe because maybe oxymoron because you are very right leaning yourself, maybe it doesn't come across to you as the news media mm-hmm. being right leaning, having a right leaning pen. Guys, no, in, life, a, guys in the life, guys in the life to say that. But so okay, basically, there if we cleave the media into right and left, see like left see, media again, isn't. No, no, like, Hold on, like more people in the live chat, PK is saying more, uh, most people in the live chat are agreeing with me, most people from India, saying most, mm-hmm. they're questioning you, they're saying most news media in, the, in, in India is left, question mark, question mark, question mark, what the hell, please name. So, okay, yeah, a lot so of people are can you name me right, uh, right-leaning right newspapers? Well, well, Nikki in the live chat, Nikki also <laughs> from India saying no oxymoron, most Indian media is right. Okay, so see, I was, yeah. um, most Indians are agreeing with me in the live chat. Okay, so the the mainstream media, there's nothing like mainstream media, actually. There's left media and the left media. So the left media is generally institutionally funded, and it, the narratives are carried over globally in general. Uh, and there's a right-meaning media, which is generally very popular and actually kind of self-funded. So the difference okay, is that. Right? I don't know what to believe because I've read, I've seen your uh, your takes on other things that I know something about, and they were very wrong, right? Let and me I give know, let me give example of this. Hold on, no, so, hold on. But I don't know if your examples are correct. Okay, I just right now, if I apply Occam's razor, I'm going to trust the reports I read on Indian media more than what you say because of the history of the claims you have made before, right? So you, I don't. I don't know how to because I don't know the name of the medias in India, okay? And I don't consume India India's media as much as you do, right? All I have is the report that I go, and I'm gonna trust that over what you, I, like. I know you're gonna give me a whole bunch of data and a bunch of examples, but I don't know. I don't think I'm in a position to trust you over the reports that I've read. Okay, that's fair. Uh, okay. But uh, okay. Uh, then yeah, if we don't give example, uh, so what media the the right of the generally the, both left and the right of US generally they validate the left media of US. So doesn't that make it mainstream in a way? In a way, because say, let's say USCRF reports, they generally go heavily on the Queen, the Wire, the Print. So these are kind of left wing medias media outlets. So Fox News is kind of popular uh, in United States more than uh, CNN, but that means, but from global narrative perspective, uh, generally CNN is preferred. So what yeah, but makes in the United uh, States, mainstream media? But, okay, but in the United States, right-leaning media is very popular. Both yeah. left-leaning media is popular, has its own fans, and right, right-leaning ones yeah. has its own fans. What's your point? So I'm setting it. Uh, I'm saying this from the global narrative perspective. Okay. So, and are you just yeah, saying the how the how the rest of the world perceives the media? Is that what you're talking yeah. about? Yeah. Oh. So the global media would generally lean towards CNN. Yeah, because they, because Probably. the people because people globally are not as insane as American. That's also just because CNN has a has a pretty pretty hardcore global focus that has been kind of yeah yeah we have cnn international whereas fox news is very much specifically uh, focused focused on on the united states as is the national broadcasting corporation nbc um so like those definitely and then the other big newspapers in our area like in the u.s or just news outlets like aren't ours like the guardian and and the observer are not american but they have they have branches you know and gijin american yeah, and also Gijan American brings up a good point. The media in the U.S. appears left because the right has abandoned sanity. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point because, like, a lot of it, the right-leaning media news in the United States has a lot of um, it has a lot of fans and viewers. Mm-hmm. But for the people who don't consume it, they completely dismiss it because it's 
it's just insane yeah. it's just cuckoo land right so you might think like oh there's le- most of the media is left-leaning but because you just ignore all it it has gone to the point of insanity i, I mean like i do think like being a anybody who fans that is a fan of fox news or republican in general in the u.s is completely insane now right that's how like um so if you just dismiss those people it might look like everything is left-leaning because we don't have a rational right-leaning movement in the united states for us to yeah. take seriously that's what that's why it looks more left-leaning yeah you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free too sexy to show most of it here on youtube we draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.